Hi, I'm Brian Bielman. I've been living on the North Shore since 1975, and I've actually been shooting since 1978. Long time. That's a tough one because there was Jamie O'Brien's wave, which was really beautiful and really sunny. I, probably the only heat with any sun out, at least the early morning. But the Brent Dorrington wipeout, that was great. I mean, there was incredible top to bottom falling, you know, from the top all the way to the bottom airborne. Everybody loves wipeouts, including myself. Yeah, when you're out there at Pipeline, you know, everybody's paying attention to the surfers, and it's those, it's those kind of waves that nobody catches that you're not expecting that a lot of times turn out to be the really beautiful shots. Just as it touches the bottom where the lip's throwing, it's, that's the nicest shot. It's just a perfect circle. You're looking right through it. There was a few of those that day, but this was the one. This was the one that broke absolutely perfectly beautiful top to bottom and looking straight through it. Luckily, I was in the right spot. I had the right angle on it. Well, I got my first water housing in 1986, and I've been in the water since. Oh, I'm on the back of the jet ski. That's my horse. Well, what we're doing is we're just getting that water angle where we're looking more down in the pit from outside where you can't see that from, from inside. Brings the viewer right into the zone. You know, the, the kids were putting on a show. Connor had the view. He was just in a nice big round pit looking down. He didn't make the wave. He just pulled in, just dropped in, pulled in, locked in, and it was like that was the, the image looking down. Just whoosh, getting that. As for uh, Parker, he made a nice deep drop, pulled in, barreled tight, comes out, just comes out all stoked. Just super happy. Well, my favorite wave I had to be Evan's wave, just because I was right there, and I was kind of like going over the wave, and Evan was just head down committed, and I was kind of like looking over this ledge. The wave was so gnarly. I couldn't even kind of believe that he was going. You know, I was like five feet from him, and he's like my friend hucking himself over this eight foot ledge over dry reef and I could just like feel how scary it was. And I'm like, oh. so I look in, make sure he was all right and sure enough I just like look back and he was just standing there and he spit just like, and that was pretty cool, hot stuff. <laughs>